My name is Miwako Kobayashi. My name is Althea Grant Lindsay. I'm Alex Macedo. Oh, my name is Apincho. My name is Richard Porteron. I am Brandy Limbago. My name is Tiffany Brunson. I am a lead public health analyst. I am a medical epidemiologist. A health communication specialist. I'm the associate director for laboratory sciences. I'm a senior science advisor. I'm the associate director for epidemiology science. In the National Center for Immunization and Respiratory Diseases. The mission of NCIRD is to protect the public's health through immunizations and the control of respiratory diseases. The interventions that we support, like vaccination, allow us to have an impact on people's survival. Our laboratory work supports not only how we understand disease transmission domestically, but we also have an international scope. We inform surveillance for respiratory diseases. We look for the emerging strains that are going to be important for developing vaccines. Each year, millions of vaccine doses go into people's arms, contain the antigens from one or more of the virus we prepared at the CDC. My career path to public health started when I was in medical school in Brazil. Like a lot of people at CDC, I kind of fell into public health. I'm originally from Japan, and I am an infectious diseases physician by training. I started out as a, as a journalist, and after working at a software company, got a job at a local health department designing their first website. My career path to CDC started in New York. I'm from New York. I went to the State University uh, of New York at Stony Brook. Prior to joining CDC, I worked in Cambodia working on tuberculosis control. I have a PhD in biochemistry and molecular biology. My PhD study was on influenza virus and vaccines. I got a biology degree there and went on to get a master's in hematology. I was always fascinated by the virus and I wanted to have a research career and to contribute to public health. I'm an infectious disease physician and as of such, we did have to follow a lot of CDC guidelines. I came down to Georgia and went to Morehouse School of Medicine where I got a PhD in molecular biology and started working at the CDC shortly after. I wonder if one day I'll be able to be behind the scenes working at CDC, and I did. What inspires me about my job is that I have an opportunity to work on issues that impact people's lives in real time. Our laboratory scientists, these people are working so hard every day behind the scenes, and they are generating the data upon which we make so many of our public health decisions. The work that you do impacts not only the population in creating immunity across the country and across the world, but you really get to see and understand the, the personal impact. All of that immunity, all of that resistance to disease is based on interaction between a healthcare provider and an individual. If you understand the larger picture that we're all working toward and how maybe this small piece that you're doing impacts vaccine development, that will allow you to, to expand, to do more, to be more creative in how you think about your work. We work on pathogens that are constantly changing, bugs that are constantly rearing their ugly heads. So you have to be ready for change at any time. I get to be involved in work that could potentially impact the health of many people. If you have a passion to do something that really matters and will make people healthier, I think this is the right place to come.